First time watching Doctor Who Series 8 we're in, and it's episode 3, I believe, which is called Robot of Sherwood. So let's get into it. Before we get into it, though, I have a very important question. The most important question in the entire universe. And unlike the question that is Doctor Who, this one you can answer. And that question is, how are y'all doing? I hope you're doing great. My name's Afan, I'm doing good too, by the way. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel! Anyways, enough of that cringe. Let's jump into the episode without any further ado. Here we go. Damn this BBC intro all the way to hell. Wherever, whenever, anywhere in time. Is this chalkboard thing gonna come in handy? Because I've been seeing this in the background the past few episodes. I've always wanted to meet. It seems like he's trying to figure something out. That there is no such thing. Go on. It, it's Robin Hood. Robin Hood. Oh, Robin Hood. I do know Robin Hood. I've always loved it ever since I was little. Robin Hood. You're still a little. <laughs> Short joke. No? Anyways. Robs from the rich and gives to the poor. <laughs> that I know. That's all I know. Actually. <laughs> you stop bad things happening every minute of every day. That sounds pretty heroic to me. <laughs> Ice cream? What was that? Was that chalk? You said it was my choice. Or the tumescent arrows of the half-light. Those girls can hold their drink. Doctor. And fracture 15 <laughs> My choice. Robin Hood, show me. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> I love these two's relationship. It's given me sort of like father-daughter vibes, you know what I mean? Like father's reluctant to do something, but the daughter's making him do it, you know what I mean? That's it's really cute. He'll only be disappointed. The other uh doctors obviously they're Vibes were a bit different. That was fun too, you know, but this is different, you know, very different than the previous. Well, pretty much all of them. Well, ninth was actually a little different as well. 10th and 11th really sort of romanticized everything. Wow, that's beautiful. Everything's so glowy. I just saw an Arnia, by the way, should be on the channel very soon. Very Narnia like fantasy like, you know, there it is. <laughs> There's Robin. Peter Capaldi. Oh, there are the eyebrows. I should always know every single human being's eyebrows. Because that's how humans work. And <laughs> hell, man, sometimes. <laughs> you guys are very, very smart. You know, very, very smart indeed. <laughs> this is not a trick. This is a target. Whatever it is, you bony rascal. I'm <laughs> I must relieve you of it. You're, you're skinnier. Well, I don't know who's skinnier, but you're also very bony. Wait, that's what bony means, right? Skinny? Oh, laughs in the face of all. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Face when you do that. Not as yet. Lucky I'm here then, isn't it? They're never close. Red. Much, but. Woo. What do you reckon, Doctor? By all the saints. By all the saints indeed. <laughs> No. Oh, he wishes. Oh my god, it is, isn't it? That is not Robin. <laughs> is about to relieve you of your magic box. <laughs> I'm going to see a Christmas carol too, by the way, before Christmas. And uh, another movie as well. I haven't yet decided. You guys suggested so many, you know, so I'm going to pick one of those. Spoon. spoon? That's a massive spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Robin? If you were that good, you would not get that close to the Daco. You've got a uh, huge reach advantage. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, got him. He's got an enormous sword and he just poked you with it. Mm, the old spinny do. Oh, right in the. Like. <laughs> Doctor. He's gonna come from the other side, yeah. Yep, you got him. <laughs> this is so giving me Narnia vibes. Like the forest is so like bright and like glowy. Do you know what I mean? It's labor we require up at the castle. Labor and gold. Mm. Great help, Master. Newcomer to Sherwood, are we? Yes, my lord. Sherwood. Sure, we also prove useful. 
So Robin Hood is, uh, you know, from Sherwood. Whoa, that's a lot of spit. That was a lot of spit, right? I mean, you should live to regret. Bravo! Can manage to get that much out. <laughs> No blood on the sword, eh? Lovely. What do you want with my hat? It's realistic, I'll give you that. <laughs> this is a fry top. Oh, he still thinks they're all fake? No, but hold on. Huh? <laughs> what are you doing? This isn't a real sandal. Yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> this, uh, oh, man, I love her hair. She looks gorgeous in that dress and hair. She is making mine enormous. <laughs> all those diseases. Nice. You'd be dead in six months. I am real. Bye. Wow. He's John Little, called Little John. <laughs> My loyal companion in many an adventure. <laughs> ah, okay. Lovely. It's a little John, eh? Does he later, after retiring from Robin Hoodiness, <laughs> becomes a rapper? Little John. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> Why are you always doing that? Yeah, be as miserable as me. But yeah, I'm very simple. <laughs> I'm going to need a sample of what? Uh, uh, Bath in the future. We might be inside a mini scope. Oh, sh <laughs> A mini scope? Yes, of course. Why not? Yes. Mini scope. Seems not quite of the real world. Mm, no. To oppress us forevermore. Or oh, six months in your case. It is a shame to dwell on. Wow. And there is such beauty here. This guy really is different than all the other doctors, you know. Because, like, the other doctor would make a joke like that, too. But the way he says it, like, there's a bit of spite in it, you know what I mean? Robert. Uh, Earl of Loxley. Lee. Yes. yes. Sorry. Do go on. <laughs> I have my lands and titles stripped from me. I dared to speak out against Prince John. But mm. was the thing most did. Is that the cousin of Prince Albert? So very quick. Does the doctor stand it? Marion? She knows the whole story. Cause it's in a book. I think it's a book, right? I think. I was Marion. Who told me I must stand up? I was afraid. I actually saw an Arnie and uh gonna watch a Christmas Carol because of Doctor Who, you know. They did a thing on it, an episode on it. It's an arrow made of pure gold. It's a trap. <laughs> well, of course it is. <laughs> but a contest. The best archer in the lab. There is no contest. <laughs> Right! That isn't even funny. That was bantering. Bants! Totally against bantering. Bro, bants are great. Great banter. It really is. When did you stop believing in everything? When did you start believing in impossible heroes? Don't you know? Hmm, one stands in front of me. Oh, and by the way, impossible girl. Impossible hero. <laughs> this dude likes apples, eh? Oh, he likes... Oh, he actually likes apples. Oh, no. Blasphemy. Does that mean he hates fish custard and f whatever fingers? <laughs> fingers and your custard? <laughs> That's fine. He can hate it all he wants. As long as he doesn't hate a bow tie and a fez. Sheriff? Is that a pig? A sheriff, not the banner. <laughs> I mean the banner, obviously. Like a boar. Whoa, he didn't put any art on it. Maybe it's not that far, it just looks far. For a second there, I thought he was gonna do a no look. Ooh, lovely. Come forward, Tinker. That's a doctor? Yeah, it is. Is there any? <laughs> yeah, very much so. Enlightenment. Hmm? Ooh, lovely. Okay. Ricochet off the armor. No, look, he's finally gonna do it. Oh, so it's first to miss, basically. Whoa, dude. You're fun at parties. <laughs> Fascinating. She's brings the fireworks, you know. Ooh. Robot. Of Sherwood. What is that in his neck? <laughs> what? Get yourself 
captured. Okay. Got themselves captured. Now what? That's a lot of gold. They're melting it all? They're putting it in that fire thingy? Gargoyle, what are you? Leave it. Peasant creature is spent. Usefulness expired. Ooh, lovely. Looks like a cross, you know. Is that sheriff real? Like, is he? I mean, they're all real, but. Trust up like turkey cocks. Thanks to your friend. Turkey cocks. Oh, that's not an image I wanted in my head. Or any body part, for that matter. Ah, you'd have been floating around in the Wait, is he a robot? Is that right? Oh, you amuse me, grey old man. God! He's laughing again. You can't be locked up with a laughing person. <laughs> oh, lovely. Coming on. Execute me. Oh, lovely. I'd like to see if his head keeps laughing when you chop it out. Oh, Robin Hood always laughs in the face of death. Yes, rolling around the floor laughing. I would pay good money to see that. Guard! 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 What? Why are both of them yelling for guard? There isn't actually a guard out there. Oh, I did it. <laughs> you determined to starve to death in his squabbling. It lasts a lot longer than this desecrated man. <laughs> oh, he laughed. Oh, he laughed. It is not a competition about who can die slower. <laughs> it would be me, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, of course I have a plan. I too have a plan. No, okay, you don't. Robin, Neither of you have a plan. Robin, your plan. I am. Biding my time. Thank you, Prince of Thieves. Last <gasps> time, Lords. Can you explain your plan without using the word sonic screwdriver? Because you might have forgotten the Sheriff of Nottingham has taken your screwdriver, just saying. So is a screwdriver. Right, okay, well, let, 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 let's hear Robin's plan. For God's sake. There was a guard, there was a guard listening the whole time. I knew it. No, you said you knew that there wasn't a guard. To find out which of you is the true ringleader. Wow. So he can this guy can really... Hmm. He might have a chance against me, you know, in the Battle of the Noses. <laughs> Lovely. You'll soon see how those mechanicals feel about the taste of Nottingham steel, forgive me. <laughs> Not. Pearls, rubies, all the precious jewels of the realm seem no consequence to him. gold. Wait, what? Robin and the stranger it... lay. If he... Because he's melting it, right? Yeah. He saw this earlier, but hold on. If he only takes gold, because he obviously has a plan, then why would he give away gold? Or is that not real gold, the arrow? I guess to lure Robin Hood in? Because he knows Robin Hood would take that to, and use it to feed, like, the poor. But I like it. Refreshingly direct. You can take the girl out of Blackpool. <laughs> Blackpool? Is that in Lancashire? Or is Lancashire in Blackpool? Because you said previously she's from there. Uh, whatever. Gallimaufray. <laughs> Gallimaufray? Very, very close. Ah. Thing of awesome power. Wand. Beat your breast. <laughs> Groan as though... I thought it said beat your beast. I'm like, what? Can we do it together? Pause. You are clearly more advanced in years. <laughs> you have a sickly aspect, do you? I have a <laughs> You're as pale as milk. It's the way with Scots, they're strangest of vegetables. I'm not moaning. Lovely. That he may die of sheer fright. <laughs> Tiny, shivering little mouse. <laughs> I thought you said you don't like banter. Got him. Soiled myself. Does that actually work? Just one headbutt knocks him out. I'll get the doctor. I'll get the doctor. No, 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 I guess if you get him in the right spot. Because one punch can knock you out. Lovely. There is a bright side. Clara didn't see that. <laughs> but enough tawdry matters. Let us talk. I find these tables, like, obviously extravagant, but also so unrealistic. Like, you're so far apart from each other. Like, you have to yell <laughs> to, like, hear each other. To draw the eye of a great and powerful man. Mechanical men with their promises. I do have experience. The promises. Tell me your story. Tell me yours. Because great men always proceed. <laughs> Clara Once upon a time. is stroking his enormous 
Ego. And handsome man. I can almost picture him. I don't even have to close my eyes. <laughs> Craft from the heavenly spheres, bedight with twinkling lights. The most beautiful thing the brave, handsome man had ever seen. <laughs> handsome. For Nottingham is not enough. Darby. Then, Lincoln. The world! Lovely. Oh, can you just <laughs> stop? <laughs> You'll give yourself a <laughs> So much better at sharing information if they think the other person has already got it. Yeah. Oh, that's very clever. She is clever. Her name is also clever. Uh. <laughs> Clara. Doesn't every king require a consort? Concert. Like singing. Again, and you'll regret that. <laughs> Good on you, Clara. But I have a feeling it'll take that as a, you know, disrespect and... Do worse things. I hope not, at least. 12 data banks, data banks, data banks. To the data banks, the promised land. Land again. Yeah, promised by who? Not a faced man, but more sophisticated. Yeah, we heard this before. Merges into the culture to keep a low profile so no one notices. That explains the robot knights. Mm. The engines. They're leaking radiation into the local lab, creating a temporary climate of staggering benevolence. It's too sunny. It's too green. Too green? I said it too! Silly story to get them through the day, lull them into docility, and keep them working. Oh, wait. Full of every myth and legend you could hope for, including... Robin Hood. Isn't it time you came clean with me? He doesn't even know. Wow. You're not real and you know it. Look at you. Well, no, he's real. Perfect teeth. Nobody has a jawline. <laughs> <laughs> the actor's like, thank you very much. False tongue knife. I should have. Needs to add it again, eh? Not what you think he is. This is all play acting. <laughs> We're trying to let them kill him. You're not fooling anyone, Sheriff. <laughs> no, they. I don't think they're playing. I think it's very real. Oh, lovely. Okay. He's gonna pretend like he's. It's pretty big fall, you know? Yeah, sorry about the girl. Such a pretty thing. Very pretty, but. I'm sure she would have. Especially the kind of leadership quality that she has shown and roles she had filled before. Not pretending you and your fancy robots. Fancy pigs. <laughs> Plundering the surrounding countryside for all it's worth. Gold. Yeah. You are creating a matrix of gold to repair the engines. Right. Soon this skyship will depart. Destination? London. So, why give away the gold then? Still don't understand. It will work. There's too much damage. You are stoking up a gigantic ball. <laughs> Lovely. Hammer fist. It's quite a castle, you know. What are you looking at? You? <laughs> <laughs> she was so intrigued. Hi. The time for games is over. I think I understand you. Mm -hmm. Sheriff's using the gold. You'll explode and wipe out half the country. It is a little riot. That's a riot. That's my specialty. You are fit. I'm afraid you're a little late. Explain. Explaminate. <laughs> Free. <laughs> oh, lovely. Hmm, that's interesting. That little tin pan deflected the thing, the laser, but that thick armor didn't. Hmm. They've got chain mail there too, if you're gonna say it went there or whatever. Got the, you know, armor. It's all right. Works out for our daco, so it's all good, eh? Oh, lovely. See what I'm saying? I'm sure if you punch that pan, it would bend. But not that metal. Last one! Lovely. Whoa, that was cool. Out, out, out. Also quite precise that it did not hit anyone. It just went straight into the pans. You've saved us all, clever one. Clever one! Run, clever boy, and remember! Engine capacity at 82%. Ooh, almost. You think your peasants' revolt can stop? Your peasants? It's giving me a Malfoy energy. Bantering, bantering. Listen to me. Mm. You don't have enough. Bantering. You will wipe out half of England. Liar! To rule omnipotent. 
You pudding headed primitive, shut down the <laughs> Pudding headed. Oh, lovely. Robin's one of yours. He's one of your tin headed puppets, just like these brutes here. Robin is he? Hood. Because I think this guy's real too. Like, I mean, not a robot by real. I mean, obviously, robots are real too. Why would we create an enemy to find us? Yes, that would be, be a rubbish idea. Why would you do that? Oh, well, you can control both the sides of the argument. He's a legend! Too kind! He is a legend indeed. Does not come alone. I am. Hey, he comes so Clara and him came together. Okay. <laughs> Listen, that's the dream, eh? Coming together. Lovely. Hell yeah. Good. So am I. That thing, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, that's how we control because he had that thing earlier as well. Are you okay? You're very fine indeed. And <laughs> Lovely. Liberate. Okay, so he's half. Hmm. Oh no. Come on, Mr. Hoodie. He's gonna do the spinny do, eh? And bump him in the butt. In the buttocks. Hey, there it is. Go on, pop that butt out. Do for the gram. <laughs> Ooh. And now he's going to emerge out of there as the Joker. Ugh. A golden crown for a king. Reminds me of the Dothraki in Game of Thrones. Where did Bob go? The golden arrow. Talk. We're robbers. I love you, boys. <laughs> enough gold content to get the ship into orbit and out of harm's way. Hmm. But it has to be you. My home is injured. Oh, lovely. Wait, he's struggling. I cheated. I made a special arrow with a homing oh, device. Oh, brilliant! Right, let me have a go. Lovely. You do taekwondo? That's not the same thing, is it? <laughs> Surely we can manage it together. Taekwondo. Sufficient power to achieve escape velocity. Yeah. So how is the... Hmm. Doesn't this need to be, like, melted or something? Oh, lovely. Power surge. I like how they're trying to help him get out of here. Oh, I hate that noise. Because, you know, that's my phone waking me up in the morning. That literally gives me anxiety, that noise. Rest on it. They're laughing. They're laughing. Yeah. <laughs> I love this mean spirited doctor, you know. It's very different. I like it. Whoever he is, he is a very. <laughs> Marion is very lucky too. Marion. I fear not. Don't give up. Why? Oh. Not for one single day. She dead? Safe, if you can be. But always. If you can be. Goodbye, Robin Hood. Goodbye, Clara Oswald. Clara Oswald. That in the future I am forgotten as a real man. I am but a legend. Huh. I'm afraid it is. So is this like a Doc Who version of it? Or is this the real story? History is a burden. Stories can make us fly. True. Still having a little trouble believing you as a... Is it so hard to... Hmm. That a man born into wealth and privilege should find the plight of the oppressed and weak too much to bear. I know. Until one night he is moved to steal a TARDIS. Ah, there it is. I was just about to say, that's literally the doctor. Clara told me your stories. Yeah, you asked him about him. I've told you any of that. Well, well, once the story started, she could hardly stop herself. This dude's got anger issues. He needs anger management. I think. I'm not a hero. Well. well neither am I. It's not what you think, really. I'm pretending. You know? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Ha ha. Perhaps others will be heroes in our name. Perhaps. Okay. Story. And may those stories never end. Hmm. That's that's pretty much what I was gonna say. It's not really what you think of yourself. It's what you mean to others, inspiring others, like he said. And remember, Doctor. Clever boy. I'm just as real as you are. All righty. Admit it. You like him. Well, not as much as you, apparently. Well, leaving him a present, aren't I? What? Wait, that looks like that girl. Robin? 
It is that girl. Wow, lovely. I found you at last. So she's marrying. <laughs> <laughs> They're laughing again. <laughs> I hope it doesn't land. Oh, no, 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 no. Next time. Oh, my goodness. The next time in this series is relentless. They don't even give you a chance to stop it. We're going to see it, but next time, not now, okay? You can see it now, by the way. Link in description, because that's where they go first. Also, full and reactions are there as well. Check it out. That is quite an episode. Very interesting. Very fantasy-like. Before we say anything, is this like the real story? Well... Okay, first off, is this real at all? Not this, but like Robin Hood. Is that like a real thing? Because I thought it was a stories, legends, you know? But maybe it was real at one point. Uh, who knows? I and mean, I'm sure there are a lot of people who steal from the rich and give to the poor. Who am I kidding? That is a legend, of course. In the real world, you steal from the poor and give it to the rich. That's how the rich become rich and stay rich and get richer. It do be getting a bit too real sometimes here, uh, doesn't it? Yeah, I should just tone it down a little. Let's go back to fantasy world. So Robin Hood. <laughs> yeah, um, like I said, all I knew before watching this episode was that he's a dude who steals from the rich, gives to the poor, and that's pretty much it. This one sort of questioned maybe that he might have been a real person. I don't know if he is. Great. If he wasn't, still great. Because like they said, you know, the effect that stories can have, legends can have on people. It doesn't matter if you're real or even a hero or even a good person. If someone else thinks you're a good person and that inspires them to do something that has a positive effect on the world and the people inhabiting that world, well, there you go. You're a hero. And so I really liked that message. And I liked how I was like, the world looks way too shiny and glowy and bright and green and, you know, great. Uh, it's like fantasy. And then it was because obviously, you know, because, uh, you know, the, you know, the chemicals and all that good stuff. Clara looked absolutely stunning in this one. Her hair, man, that must take a lot of work, like all these things and everything like it's so detailed and stuff john i mean it reminded me like the hair of uh some of the women from game of thrones like holy sh man they they went all out danny in particular also cersei and so on and so forth i love long hair man i wish i had them but it's so hard to manage i, I grew them out a little bit but like it's just like i can't even handle this <laughs> let alone that size you know but yeah that was great the parallels between the doctor and robin hood of course uh, both being these people who left everything behind and are now helping those in need providing for the needy and so and they called it out as well because you know they have a lot of things in common and um the doctor not believing in him the doctor showing his old man attitude getting annoyed at fun oh old people hate fun that don't they obviously i'm generalizing not all old people are like that my grandfather for instance man he was the opposite he was crazy like fun crazy john you know i mean <laughs> but this is uh yeah I, I like this doctor i mean it started off quite heavy as well and it seems like maybe we will explore some heavy topics and i mean as you can tell i'm a fan of the heavies you know the the, the episodes that discuss real issues and do it well i mean in the previous episode we had this whole dilemma with the doctor whether he's good or bad or you know i mean that's sort of been going on since i guess the 50th anniversary really the 14th episode of the last season if you really think about it so it makes sense that he is this way and like i said like of course i i liked matt smith a lot because he had that jolly fun side and i still like him a lot more i would say than this doctor but i don't like dislike this doctor i actually do like this doctor as well and i like and appreciate the different sort of personality that this doctor is bringing and i'm looking forward to seeing more of it and seeing how they're going to handle and what stories they're going to bring forward it seems for the most part that it might be a bit more serious and have a bit more dry humor which is always great than the previous doctors but yeah this was uh this was fun i mean i had a, a few good lessons uh but yeah a couple of plot holes but hey who cares man it's doctor who it's fun it's entertaining it's enjoyable and i hope you enjoyed the video if you did do drop a like subscribe if you're new to the channel do let me know though is robin hood real like an actual person and then turn into a legend or if it's just books and stuff um also if there's like a good movie or something about robin hood let me know i might watch it sometimes you know i actually saw narnia because of uh doctor who i think i talked about in the reaction as well 
And I'm going to be watching A Christmas Carol again because of Doctor Who. Uh, you guys told me that one of the stories, I don't remember which one, was based on those. Once I watch the movies, then I'll know which episode it was because I don't know the actual story, you know, of those movies. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to those and I'll be picking a third movie as well. Like I said, these are all suggested by you guys. I've asked you guys previously and I've got a whole book here with me. This book right here, this book right here, this is literally filled with lists of movies like it's ridiculous the amount of movies i have in here so i'm gonna pick a holiday movie from there and that's gonna be the third movie i might actually watch the second narnia movie as well because i had so much fun with the first narnia movie but yeah that's pretty much it that's what you can expect in the future and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did do drop a like subscribe if you're new to the channel check out my patreon the next episode is going to be there full-length reactions are there as well and i'll see you guys in the next video until then have a nice